Because of Russia, prices are rising. Because of Russia, there is no enough food in the world. There is a risk of famine in Africa right now. Because of Russia, there are many refugees in Europe. Millions of refugees are now in Europe. Because of Russia, people die every day. The whole world is suffering because of Russia. Because of Ukraine, the war does not go further to Europe. A rocket fell on the territory of Poland and Moldova. It makes no difference whether it was a Russian missile or Ukrainian air defense. If Russia had not bombed Ukraine, there would not be air defense. Only Russia is to blame for the war. Only Russia is to blame for the rockets falling in Poland and Moldova. Crimea was given to, you, to Russia by world leaders. This stopped Russia for a while, as we can see. But this didn't stop them in general. If we give up Ukraine now, it would stop them for a couple of years. But that won't stop them forever. They would never stop. They always want more. They all saw the weakness of the world, of the European leaders during the last eight years. In 2018, Russia hosted the Football World Cup. The World Cup unity was not embarrassed by the human rights violations, lack of freedom of speech, laws prohibiting LGBT people, thousands of people killed in war in Ukraine, oligarchs, a huge level of corruption, armed trafficking. It reminds me of something happening right now in one Middle East country. While the fans are having fun on the streets of the Russian cities, the Russians themselves were joking about the fact that the police um, does not beat people who gather for more than 10 people on the streets. When they posted photos on Instagram, thousands of political prisoners were tortured in Russian prisons. If one of the matches would took place in Crimea, I'm sure they would agree with this also. Russia has to be totally isolated. As we can see, if we negotiate with Russia, it would only lead to the wars, to the price rising. Russia has killed tens of thousands of Ukrainians during these eight months, uh, nine months and eight years. And now they are offering to sit at the negotiation tables again. But we cannot trust terrorists. We cannot negotiate with Al-Qaeda. We cannot negotiate with the Taliban. By the way, Russia do this. Russia has already promised it would not attack Ukraine, but they, that they would stop, but they have not done this. What reasons do we have to believe them again? The only way to stop the war, the only way to stop the prices rising, the only way to stop the crisis now, the only way to stop the famine now in Africa is the full capitulation of Russia. Україна! Слава нації! Все буде Україна!